Oh, hi everyone. Um, gonna try something new today. Always trying something new. Uh, I'm gonna try a blend of ice. So uh, very, very much unknown territory. So um, yeah, been very hesitant about doing this, but I really like the style. It's one of my favourites. So yeah, gonna give it a go. So we're gonna do a big 30 litre batch, um, and then I will probably keep some for a. Um, just a straight blend of ice and then um, the other 15 litres I'm going to sp split off into three different demijohns and treat it a different way so um, they'll be added fruit um, so I'll get a nice mixture it's all going to go into bottles uh, so I can leave it to age a little bit in the, in the, in the bottles itself so yeah it should be very interesting so uh, following uh, someone else I know who's done a few blend of ices uh, and a few ghost of beers so um, Dan is Laser Wolf, um, great channel. Look at it. Um, so I'm loosely going to follow one of his recipes. So uh, pills and malt, 3.6, uh, wheat malt, 2.3, and then I'm going to use some um, acidulated malt, 180 grams. Um, had to buy a whole lot more bits and pieces for this. So I'm also doing salt additions. Um, so for uh, we've got about 12 grams of uh, gypsum going in, uh, 6 grams of calcium carbonate, 2 grams of Epsom salts, and a little bit of uh, lactic acid. Um, also got some, everyone struggles trying to pronounce these names, um, White Labs WLP644 uh, yeast, uh, that's going to go in. Um, when it goes into into the fermenter, uh, but I am going to kettle sour this as well. Whether that's the right thing to do or not, going to give it a go. So I have got some probiotic tablets. So these these little buggers, um, and they have got uh, lactobacillus. And a few other types of lacto, so you'll see if that's going to turn out right. So that's going to be kettle soured, uh, probably for 30 hours. So you pretty much say this is going to be day one. Day one, I'm just doing the mash, um, get that up to boil, um, put it in the fermenter, um, add the uh, lactobacillus, and seal it all up with a bit of glad wrap and CO2. Make sure we keep the oxygen, try and reduce the amount of oxygen and um, nasties in there. Um, and yeah, hopefully it goes alright. So essentially you want um, no chance of oxygen getting in there to, for bad microbes to grow. So we're trying to give them what we want um, the best chance of growing first and, and, and establishing itself. So yeah. All right. So I've just measured all the salts, um, so they're all in there. So Epsom salt, um, uh, calcium chloride and calcium sulfate. Um, so I'll add, all that, add that to the mash water now. And yeah, I'll just um, go and measure my malts out. And I ch probably I'll be adjusting the pH of it as it's going through its mash by using some lactic acid, which Good guys at brew shop sell that for about seven dollars so um yeah so i'll control it with that have to bring out the trusty ph meter which i haven't used a hell of a lot it's in there somewhere yep and um yeah we'll get on to it so that's just at the beginning of the mash so i'll just give that a little say 10 15 minutes even longer, I let the um, sigillated malt to work, see if it comes down, but it does give us a starting point, so we'll take it from there. As always, before you start using your pH meter, which I didn't do, you should really actually calibrate it to make sure it's actually reading right, so that's my 4 pH solution, and that is still coming down a little bit, it was 4.4 before, so that'll be bang on, so um, I'm pretty happy with that. So, uh, sorry, just to, sorry about the uh, handout, I'll stop that. 
Right, um, just learnt a big lesson. Um, yeah, I had my pH tracking not too bad, it was about um, 5.2. <laughs> and then I sparged. Um, I can see why now people um, also treat the mesh water. Um, so maybe next time I might uh, fiddle around putting some lactic acid um, in the sparge water to try and regulate that. Um, my pH went from 5.2 to 5.7. Um, so, yes, yeah, because I chuck so much in. Um, I think litres wise, I'm sitting at about 28 litres at the moment. Um, so, I am doing a, a fairly big batch and it was a fairly big sparge. So, so but that is why we have this stuff. So, she'll chuck that in and correct it. But, yeah, I think next time um, I'll definitely uh, try and pre acidify the mash water as well. So, live and learn. So now we'll put a layer of glad wrap, a um, bit of CO2, and put this baby to bed. So I have got a bit of a problem at the moment, I've actually got no CO2 on hand, but I do have uh, little CO2 cylinders. Now essentially this is, take this off, is my setup off my um, garden sprayer for my um, cleaning my lines with my keg. So essentially I'm going to be plugging that into there. And got a nice little tube here that I can put right down into um, where the water's. And I can try to control the flow of the CO2 coming out with this. So I'll see how it goes. So yeah, all done. Um, put it all to bed now. It's all wrapped up in bad wrap. Uh, I've got a seal of um glad wrap on the liquid itself um and filled that whole cavity between the lid and that layer of glad wrap with co2 uh, took about three of my little cylinders which is probably a bit expensive um but yeah it's all done um it's all sealed up and i'll just leave that for 36 hours hopefully um 36 to 40 um and hopefully that's sealed enough down to three two three five so all good